All right, I want you to go find a bench on the driving range and practice chipping underneath it. There is a bench on every single driving range. No matter where you go, you're going to be able to find one of these. And the purpose of this drill is to teach you a couple of things. Number one, it's going to help you learn to chip better. Um, you're just going to you know, get a better understanding of how to control your trajectory. But more than that, it's going to help you on the full swing because it's going to teach you how to compress the golf ball. Um, because you need to do a couple of things properly in order to execute this shot. So you can see as... I've got the I've got the ball set up pretty much off my right foot here, um, and I've got my hand slightly ahead of it. There's a little bit of shaft lean here, kind of a straight arm with my uh, or straight line with my left arm in the golf club. And as I begin my motion, watch my hands; they push towards the bench. So, boom! They have they have gone this way slightly. That's going to preset the motion that we're trying to make because I want my hands to be leading the golf shot the entire way in order to keep this ball low and compress it underneath the bench. Um, you know, you can cheat at this drill and hit like a 7 iron to get it under the bench, but I've got a pitching wedge here that I'm trying to keep, you know, less than a foot off the ground. Um, so it's important that I keep my hands ahead of the golf club to make sure I'm, you know, compressing it down to the ground. Um, so as I take it back here, you can see my hands move forward, now the club head moves back. Club head moves back, so my hands are still leading the club head. Um, and we'll bring it down into impact, my hands are still leading the club head. You can see we've got a little bit of angle here between uh, my left arm and the golf club. And I maintain that angle into impact. Boom, so that thing was compressed down. I've got a nice flat left wrist. You can see that left wrist is flat. Oop. See that left wrist is flat. That's how you compress the ball down into the ground. And even into the follow through, you can see this left arm and club stay in a relative straight line. And that ball is over here. It went low underneath the bench because I compressed it. Now we're going to take a little bit closer view at the right hand side. And you can see the same thing. Ball's off the right foot. Um, like I said, this is a pitching wedge, and you're trying to keep it low. Um, and as we take it back, the hands move forward. But watch it impact here. Boom. Okay, so that golf club is traveling down, and my hands are ahead of it. You can see how far my hands are ahead of this golf ball here. They're a good 6-8 inches ahead of the golf ball and I can press it down into the turf keeping my hands ahead of the shaft, this forward shaft lean and the back of my wrist flat. That's going to keep it low and compress it down into the turf. And this club head stays really low. So if we look at this other screen here, the club head never gets above the height of the bench. If the club head gets higher than you know the area that you want to hit it in it's gonna it's gonna go too high so watch the club head as it travels through impact and stays down below that bench so the bench is up here club heads down there if this club head got up here and you know was above the height of the bench this this golf ball would not stay low I mean if it stayed low I bladed it the only the only way to keep it low is to keep the club head low on the way through once you do this drill a few times, you're going to be able to um, kind of harness the sensation of compressing the ball into the ground. You might hit the bench a few times, but after a couple of tries, you're going to figure out how to keep it low. Your body's going to react. Keep those couple keys in mind. Your hands ahead of the golf club, this relative straight line with the left arm and the golf club, and the ball back off of your right foot um, over here. That is the key to compressing the golf ball, chipping better, keeping your hands ahead of it, and taking the flip out of the golf swing.